I made a decision today to take a break from my motorcycle and battle the Manila traffic in cool comfort. And luckily enough, I have a couple friends at the bike dealership, my friends George and Mickey, and they're going to show me what my options are to travel around in comfort and luxury. I'm Jamie Dempsey. And I'm back in the Philippines. Here we go. Exploring the country's capital, Metro Manila. Oh, this is actually happening. I have no idea what to expect. I'm strong, like bull. That's what I do! I feel like queen of the world. Let's roll. So Mickey, what have you picked out for me? So we've narrowed it down to two choices for you, the bike M60 and the bike BJ20. All right, sounds pretty sweet. Let's see what they look like. Let's go. got that new car smell. I love that smell. The first thing I notice I want to show right here is the carbon fiber. This right here, um, a detail on the inside. Mm. I have the same design here on my helmet. Oh, okay. So it matches. Pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. And then since you um, described the design, actually like this one, the, the red, Trimmings. Mm -hmm. This is actually a Mercedes Benz design that was patterned here because actually bike is partly owned by Daimler, who makes Mercedes Benz vehicles. Oh, yeah. By the way, this unit has um, panoramic sunroof. So what? Whoa! Hold on. Everything. Yes, you had me at panoramic sunroof. I just opened it for you. Oh, go. There you go. So cool. Hello, everybody! All right, well, let's see what the other model looks like. All right, let's go. Check right. in the interior Oh, the first thing I noticed is I really like the design of the seats. Mm -hmm. How it's white and black. Are these leather as well? Yes, they are leather as well. Ooh. And then look at the screen here. You can see that it's already digital cluster. Oh, that's right. Yeah. There's two type like here. You yep. can see like the door open. And then even the tank, gas tank, is also digital. Everything is digital here. Also very high tech and very space age looking. I've had a lot to think about. They both have really great things going for them. Which one do you think says Jane? <laughs> the BJ20. <laughs> it's an SUV. <laughs> She's totally right. That's the one I chose. <laughs> BJ20 it is. <laughs> I've been touring around Metro Manila and I wanted to spend the day today getting to know Makati. And what better way to do that than with a visit to Mayor Abby Binai. Hi Jamie. Hi, thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. So normally when I come to the Philippines, I head straight out to the provinces. But this time around, I wanted to get to know the different cities of Metro Manila more personally. And I thought you could help me do that with Makati. I'm the perfect person to ask. <laughs> so good thing you caught me in the booth. So I'm always down for a coffee break. Let's do it. I know that cities are always growing and changing and developing, so I'm curious, what are the changes that Makati is going through right now? Well, uh, ever since I started, we are pushing toward digital or smart cities. And that will be our backbone for our other infrastructure projects. So it's like building our own telco. So, well, first we have to resolve is our issue of traffic. Makati being the central business district, there's a daytime population of over 5 million. Yeah, I noticed it was very busy. And there's a nighttime population of less than 1 million. Oh, wow. So there's a lot of people that just work or pass through the city but actually don't 
live here. Mm, that's very much like downtown Los Angeles. Correct. That's very, very similar. So what do you do? We have to be able to address our issue of, of traffic, so we have to build our own mass transport system. So, Makati being the central business district, we are also very prone to bomb threats and we have to make sure that the city is always secure. Even when people are sleeping at night, they sleep well knowing that we have eyes and ears everywhere. Mm -hmm. So we have um, existing over 100 CCTV cameras and it is access to our command center that we built in 2006, but we have recently upgraded them for live streaming. So we will be able to respond quickly in terms of disaster. Oh. So I'm giving you free access, VIP access, to be able to look at our C3. That is so cool. I've always wanted to be in one of those rooms with all the screens and all the action going on. So, so you're going to be your, your own 911. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> so it's that way. All right, off I go. Let's roll. <laughs>